Hey guys, Jack here with Kobe. It's been a slow news day. I know everyone's waiting for this or that. I'm excited. We've never seen yeah. these slides before. We have five of them today. We're gonna pick this or that. It's a really simple <laughs> segment. We don't really have to explain it over and over again. There's two steps. Let's see the first slides, slide. And then we choose. And then we talk about the slides. That's the way the show works. So let's get into the first slide right here. Who is more likely to defeat Ooh. a Korean powerhouse, G2 or TSM? Well. I'm biased. <laughs> I think you're biased. Just cut that out right there. That's all you need. We have yeah. that clip forever. You guys can post yeah. that in every yeah. thread. I'm biased. You admitted to it. <laughs> Which means G2, clearly. There you go. Yeah. Ocelot, just... they, they took a break. Now they're fresh. Yeah. TSM's burned out. No, really, though. Uh, TSM, they look super clean. I think there are a lot of good arguments for this. Because, yes, uh, we do cast North America, and so we've had more close experience with mm -hmm. TSM. Uh, but just for me, the special thing this year, because I do get excited for North America most years heading into Worlds, but this year, the extra emphasis uh, put on the mental strength of their players so that yeah. they don't you know, run into problems. There's always going to be problems that come up in international play. You're introduced to new metas, different regions play differently. I think the focus they put on the mental game is going to help TSM tremendously this year at Worlds. Plus, yeah. I can't see at each position, there's no real standout weakness for them. Even if you just compare like the spring split to the summer split and like what the regions did at MSI from like certain yeah. areas. G2, they have like a roster improvement, but they haven't looked that much better. TSM was nine and nine to 17 and one, and they've been crushing the playoffs. So you're I think exactly the point you have bring up that. for G2, which is the roster improvement. Uh, I think that might be one of their weaknesses. Top lane, uh, I'm a little That's bit it. iffy about yeah. uh, for G2. I am very excited to see how they play, though, uh, especially Trick and how he matches up with the international junglers. Yep, when G2 does better, it's our fault. Let's get to the next slide, but it's that. <laughs> uh, more unlikely Worlds participant, Forgiven or Unicorn? Forgiven <laughs> <laughs> uh, means H2K or Unicorns. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I think the, Oh, whoa! I, so, statistically, that's, not what it, that's not what it shows. He could change forgive, teams. Could, oh, Maybe there's some last drama. minute. Uh, I think it's more unlikely for Unicorns, even yeah. just statistically, because if H2K win the third place match, I'm pretty sure they're in on points. That's, Whereas that's, Unicorns have to like do a bunch of other crazy stuff to be able to get there. It's so. much easier because there's more ways that H2K can qualify. Yeah. Plus, I also think that they're going to win. Yeah, and you think they're better. So this, yeah. this, let's get to slide number three. We're just Who's agreeing on everything laner? now. Ah, this is a good setup for the hard counter segment because I'm going to uh, use some uh, stats uh. in that. So uh, I will say that double lift is a better laner statistically because uh -huh. that's what it is. Is CS difference during the regular season was much higher. Sneaky is not definitely during very playoffs, good. Though. I not just during looked playoffs. at it. You just looked at it, but I don't think that's because he slid or anything in any sense. So I'm going to say that. Are you going to uh, disagree? I do actually think that double lift is ah, a better laner, okay. but I do have some good statistics for Sneaky since he actually in playoffs does have a better CS difference at 10. Mm -hmm. Doubles was actually negative uh, versus yeah. COG. Uh, and he does have a better KDA, but I just, I have to say, the way that double lift plays a lane and with the way that he works with Biofrost now, they're extremely aggressive. I like to see that. And I think that they uh, should be able to, to win that lane. If we were taking into account the supports though, I like Smoothie a lot. Smoothie's Ooh. helps me a lot, so. Uh, that bottom lane is going to be very good. Okay, but let's get. You're, I think I'll we'll we'll agree. You're going to say that the whole time. All right, let's get <laughs> to the next slide. Uh, Elder Dragon or Baron? Dragon or Baron? So what? This, what? It so does, for me, if I want to win the game, mm -hmm. Baron for sure. In almost all situations, I like Baron more than Elder Dragon. Except yeah. if you're about to have a five on five fight and both of the buffs have just yep. been acquired, the, yep. so this one is obviously gonna last the entire fight, then, then this, Elder Dragon, but for yeah. the actual gameplay and your strategy, uh, usually Baron's a lot safer because it's you know easier to- It change. lasts a long time, it lets you take turrets. The reason you would want Elder Dragon is if you have like four or five elemental drakes and you already have Baron. Because a lot of times you want to take those three it fire and power uh, recall and then zoom down the mid lane because you only have two minutes. If this yeah. lasted three minutes, I think I'd say it. But okay. it's such a you gonna short You're going to go buff. with that? I'm going to go with that. You're going to go with this? <laughs> Trick. No. no, I'm definitely going with Baron. Just because yeah. more situations, I feel like it's better. Plus, it's a little bit easier. Uh, was this the final slide? I think we usually have a goofy We're one. We have one more. We have We've been going more. so long better on these choking. Ones. Vader or Mortals? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, they had to get some burn in here. I like it. Ended on the spicy one. Yeah. Honestly, this is this is getting to be a really scary situation because, you know, it happens one time and they focus the whole next split. They focus yeah. the whole summer split on not do it choking in playoffs. This However, I don't think it was a choke. You know, Cloud9 really improved a lot and they I feel like they outplayed them, so I'm gonna go with Vader. In NA, these guys are super, they've lost three regular season games and they lose in playoffs, but Vader can choke people from like a mile yeah. away, so it's definitely this. 
as far as it goes. <laughs> anyway, that'll do it for this or that. Uh, I think that's it. If you yeah. want to direct message at Prime, I think we went long enough on this one. Did we? Do you want to have a longer conversation? <laughs> what do you feel uh, yeah. about life, Coach? No, we're done. Uh, <laughs> See you guys later. Goodbye. <laughs>